With us now is Amber Weiss, and she is the founder of Transformative Mindset. And let me tell you guys behind the scenes today, now that we have this since it's new, uh, newly lit, I really do need to have a positive mindset. Hello, and how are you? Hi, so lovely to be here. Oh nice my goodness. To meet you. So we could work together right this very moment. Absolutely. What is Transformative Mindset? Why did you start this company? Yeah, so basically I am, it's one, it's me and two other therapists who work at the practice. Um, very big on transforming the mind in terms of learning more ways in which you think and then you're able to take control of how you feel and therefore your behaviors as well. So everything is connected with the mind and the body. So as I was sharing with our audience, today is the first day that we've used this new light uh, system, right? And we move the set, we're tweaking it and things like that. And in my mind, all I want to do is take care of you, our guests, mm -hmm. right? And our crew, all they want to do is make sure they take care of me. So how does one balance those types of things with your inner and your exterior? I think it's really just about being present to okay. what is going on and not your perception about what's going on. Because okay. if you can gain more control about your perception and choose to think about it in ways where it's not, it's going to be more positive versus negative, then you're able to take more control and then feel more present and more calm. Just taking that moment. Mm -hmm. What Absolutely. got you into this line of work? So I just grew very fond of psychology at a young age. I just, everything is basically connected to psychology, the way that you think, the way that you move, the way that you talk, everything. So um, I just found that in studying the mind, there's a lot of different ways to really help people and, and help them navigate through different things that they go through in life. Um, so just becoming more aware of the ways that you think in terms of um, if you're thinking about something in a negative way versus a positive way and um, just becoming more aware of what's actually happening versus what you think is happening is also really important as well. Now, during the pandemic, I know a lot of clients were coming to you seeking your help mm -hmm. because that was scary for a lot of people. Yeah. And people were also going through grieving. So even if you didn't catch the virus, you were still worried about somebody that might have. Mm -hmm. It was just you didn't know whether you should wash all your bags of groceries before you bring them in your house, where you have to derobe your whole self before you go into your home. It was very stressful. Yeah, it was a massive transition. I mean, we're used to just carrying on day to day, just kind of doing what we normally do. And then all of a sudden our lives are completely disrupted. So the best thing to do in those moments is to try to not think for the worst, try okay. to not jump to conclusions. Because what happens is when we don't know what's going on, we end up filling in the blanks. Worst then, case scenario kind of people. Absolutely. Worst case <laughs> scenario, we magnify situations, um, we'll literally alarm ourselves and we don't need to be alarmed. So back in the day when we were hunters and gatherers, we needed to be worried about an immediate threat or some sort of danger that was around us. Now we'll get an email from our boss and then we'll be terrified. So it's like it's almost like false wiring. So yes. it's it's really about the rewiring because our, our minds and our bodies weren't built during this time. And so there's a lot of false alarms. So it's about really recognizing what the false alarm is and taking more control over it. And then also using some grounding techniques like um, being in nature or listening to a song that helps you relax or um, maybe drinking a tall glass of water with ice cubes in it, just changing the temperature of your body, doing different things that allow you to be present. Even focusing on your breath is really useful at times because it actually helps the nervous system relax. I love all of those wonderful tips. I often talk about things like focus, like figuring out your consistent unique strengths and how you can do these tools and take a moment to just breathe because if you're anxious or nervous about something, you can just get centered. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes, Amber, people like myself that are these type A personalities, right? Mm -hmm. We even forget to breathe. So what you just shared is so valuable, so important. Um, also relationships, I think that sometimes what we do to ourselves is maybe we had somebody cheat on us, or we had a breakup, or mm -hmm. we had something bad happen. Mm -hmm. And then every new relationship, you know, you're looking at them and you're you're not giving them a clean slate. You're not walking into something with a fresh start. Yeah, because you're taking the past and you're bringing it into the present. And then you start thinking more about the future and then that robs you from the present. And in reality, the present is called the present because it's a gift. I mean, when you are present and you're not really thinking about the past or the future, then you're, you're actually the most calm that you could be. What's one person, not by name, that you helped 
that you that you saw a transformation in and what did that feel like for you when you were able to help them get through that challenge um wow that's that's a good question um so one one client that i helped um had a lot of anxiety and had so much anxiety that they couldn't eat they couldn't sleep um, it was really hard for them to function normally. So the first thing I really helped them recognize was that their body is kind of going through this disruption and all these hormones are being released. So when all these hormones are being released, it's really hard to function. So the first thing is like telling them that it's temporary, that it's gonna pass because all different thoughts that we have are conditions of the mind. The mind is constantly changing, just like clouds in the sky. So basically having them recognize that this is a period of time where their body needs to adjust, their body needs to recuperate, and then becoming more aware of the thoughts that they're having and, and taking those thoughts and allowing themselves to see like, is this really what's happening or is this, is this not actually what's happening? Is, this, is there a fact or is this false? Because what we tend to do is we tend to exaggerate and we tend to magnify. It's like if you have a pimple on your face and you're looking at that pimple and you're like, oh my God, I hate this pimple. Like everybody it's so annoying. sees it. Ooh, it literally right. blows up. <laughs> so that people do the same thing with thoughts. Amber Weiss, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, this was great. I feel like I had a little mini session mm. with you and so did our audience. So stay tuned for more. You've been living it up right here. Um, I'm calming my mind and I hope you're staying calm too. Be well.